Well, hello there. What in the world do we have going here? Uh, well, uh, I've got some potatoes for one thing, and uh, I've got a couple of containers. Uh, this container uh, has pure water in it, at least it did before I tossed in some little potato chunks in there. This one over here is half water, half k syrup. k has got k in there. Half k syrup. And so again, 100% water to begin with, this one on the left. 50% water, 15% Cairo syrup with the one on the right. Well, then we started playing with potatoes. I've already done a little bit of this, the background on this, but here's uh, here's what we'll do. I've got this little device. Uh, it's called a cork borer because I guess people bore holes or used to bore holes in corks. Anyway, I'm pushing out a little potato section here. And so you can see that little potato section. What I do in class is, is pass these around. I toss them out to class get a bunch of these and ask them to feel it. And uh, you can't do that. I mean, you can try it at home, I suppose. But I ask students, what does it feel like? Well, it feels wet. It's wet. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise. You know, is a potato made of cells? Yeah. Uh, in my plant biology class, I have students do a little exercise where they study those uh, potato cells. But uh, here, I guess you'll have to take my word for it, but cells are full of water. These cells are, this is very wet. And so then what I do is I, 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 uh, uh, I punch out a few more and put them in both of these. And you can see three in this, three in this that I put in there some time ago. And so what in the world is going on here? What is, uh, what's the point of all this? Well, let's, uh, let's represent uh, a potato core in this one and a potato core in this one. Now it's very, very wet inside these potato cores very very wet when they're fresh out of the potato and so I'm going to estimate that the percentage of water inside a potato slice when it first comes out of the potato is 90 percent 90 percent 90 percent water inside the potato core so well what what's going on there well uh, potatoes are made of cells cells have cell membranes or plasma membranes and these plasma membranes have a property. The big word is semi-permeable. Uh, that means uh, what? If your roof is permeable, is that a good thing? It's not a good thing. I just had a new roof put on my house and uh, because the old one was permeable and uh, we just had a rain last week and found out the new one is still a little bit permeable, but they're working on it. Anyway, permeable means stuff comes through. What does semi-permeable mean? means only some things go through, not everything. And so I should, I should be happy about that. Only water was coming through my roof, not basketballs or something. So my roof was semi-permeable. But we're talking about a plasma membrane now. How does that apply to this particular experiment? It so happens that water passes through a plasma membrane, that phospholipid bilayer. Water passes through easily. Cairo syrup molecules do not. Water passes through easily. Cairo syrup molecules do not pass through easily. All right, so the Cairo, it can't get through. Water can come or go. Now the question is, what would make water, and the process again is diffusion, what would make water diffuse this way instead of that way? Well, there, there the, uh, the magic word is concentration. Concentration. Water will diffuse from the side of the membrane where there is a higher concentration to the side where there is a lower concentration. Higher to lower. Well, how will this affect our, uh, our potatoes? We're going to check these here in just a minute. Check the ones that have been there quite a while. And, uh, but before we do, we're going to make a prediction. Uh, how they might be different than when we put them in. And so you say different than when we put them in. What are you talking about? Well, let's check a couple of potato cores fresh, fresh out of the potato. And uh, lose my magic markers here. Anyway, so here's a uh, a fresh core, fresh out of the potato. And I am going to, I am going to, going to. Let's get it centered here. I'm going to bend it until it snaps. Bend, 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 snap. There it went. 
Now, I, I don't know how closely you were watching, but that was a 3.4 on the standard snappability scale. Let me do that again, a 3.4 on the standard snappability scale. And, uh, and so, I, uh, let's do another one. And just to kind of get uh, reinforced by this, and so, bend, 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 bend. Let me put it in front of the blue so you can see it better. Bend, snap. Oh, there it went. Snap. Okay. And so, uh, let's uh, let's kind of get an idea of what might happen here, and uh, and then uh, make a prediction. Uh, first of all, uh, in both these situations, which way will the water diffuse? Well, it's going to diffuse from the side of membranes where it's higher, more highly concentrated the side where it's less highly or lower concentration so what do we got going here uh, let's see is, is the water going to diffuse into the potato core or out of the potato core well higher to lower looks like it's going to diffuse inward right diffuse inward diffuse inward what about this one over here now the Kiro syrup can't get in now it's it's not outside the jar it's in the jar of course in the beaker but uh, uh, but the potato Kiro syrup can't get into the potatoes, can't diffuse through the plasma membranes, but the water can come or go. Which way this time? 90% inside, 50% outside. The water will diffuse outward. The water will diffuse outward. And so, how will that make the uh, potato cores differently after some a period of time of soaking? And, uh, well, it'll make them more snappy or less snappy, I bet. And so let's make a prediction. Which one we expect to be more snappy? Which one do we expect to be less snappy? Let's try this one right here. Uh, where the water is diffusing outward, uh, what do we expect when we pull that potato core out of the uh, beaker for it to be more snappy or less? I, I usually take a vote. And students vote this way or that way. A lot of them think it's going to be uh, more. Some think it's going to be less. Let's check it out. Just happen to have a plant right here. A coleus plant. Now this plant's got some snap to it. I bend it over, boop, snaps back. I call that kaboing. Kaboing. It goes back. Kaboing. It's got some snap. Now let's say uh, I didn't water this uh, coleus plant for a uh, couple more uh, uh, days. Uh, well, let's let's give it a, a whole week without watering. All right. Uh, would it have more kaboing or less kaboing if I didn't water this for a whole week? Week and a half. Two weeks. What's it going to start doing after a while? We keep track of it, it's going to start doing what? Wilting. Wilting. Is wilting uh, more snap or less snap? And it's kind of floppy. Less water, less snap. And so, uh, we would predict then that these over here would be uh, less snappy. Less snappy. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. These over here would be more snappy. All right. Well, I tossed some in quite some time ago. Actually, uh, <laughs> yesterday. I planned to do this yesterday afternoon, but ran out of time. So they've been in there quite a long time. And so, uh, before I, I'm going to start with this one right here. Uh, this one, these are, you can see them in there. Can you see them in there? Yeah, you can see them in there. I'm going to pull those out before I do. We're going to uh, check the standard snappability one more time before I pull those potato cores out of there. We get one more fresh out of the uh, out of the uh, potato, and uh, we are going to bend, 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 snap. There we go. All right. Now it's time to get one out of the uh, uh, out of the pure water, and uh, so we pull it out, and we're going to see if it's more or less snappy. I'll uh, contrast it with the blue again, and ooh, wow, Whew, was that more snappy or less snappy? Oh my goodness, wow, I think that was at least a 5.6 on the standard snappability scale. Let's check out another one here. Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that last one. All right, one more time. Okay, one, two, oh my goodness, look at that thing snap. All right. Uh, well, those seem to be more snappy over here. What about these guys that have been sitting here a few hours? More snappy or less snappy? More snappy or less snappy? Oh, look at this poor little guy. Am I going to get any snap out of this guy? 
I don't think so. Oh my goodness, I bent it into a complete U. No snap whatsoever. Oh my goodness. Oh, poor little thing. All right, and so, uh, did the molecules follow the rules? I guess they did. What did the water molecules do? They went from the side of the plasma membrane where there's a, where there's a higher concentration to the, side, to the side where there's a lower concentration. But, you know, you really knew that because you go into a grocery store, into the fresh veggie section, well, what do they do to keep those fresh veggies full of snap? They water them down, right? Uh, periodically, they uh, water them down. Uh, one grocery store I went to uh, recently, uh, I was approaching the veggie section when I saw flashes of lightning, so to speak, and I heard thunder, and I was reaching in for a fresh veggie, and psh, it starts raining on my hand. Kind of a cute little way to do that. So there you have it. Uh, diffusion, the movement of molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Okay, that's it for this one.